ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day 18 of me talking about Tropical Storm Cristobal, which is going to go like subtropical or inverted on tropical or I don't know. I'm not always so good with the science terms. I just look at like shapes and energies and facts and figures, except for not the figures. That, uh, was it talking about? Yeah. So this is crystal ball. It has dropped tons of rain in Florida, Mississippi, Alabama, and Louisiana, and is now moving north over Missouri and Indiana, and then it'll move into uh, Iowa. Wait. Now I'm just getting my names wrong. I should stick to the stick to the whatever. But I'll probably be jumping around so you don't get too bored. I'll be storm pointing out the African wave train that Philip Farrow is pointing out. We got four waves with one area being monitored by the NHC, which is a 10% chance. And more signs are pointing to us having another gulf encounter with a tropical storm. Could it be a hurricane? who knows but i do have a jedi sense feeling that we will be seeing at least one storm per eclipse which means get ready for another tropical storm possibly hurricane around the 21st which would be the summer solstice and the full lunar ring of fire eclipse and then july 5th there's another eclipse so just go ahead and pencil that in in your book that it is going to be a very wild and active hurricane season this year and with all the gas giants on the same side of the sun, and soon all planets on the same side of the sun, be ready for surprise earthquakes and volcanoes, because it's it's 2020, bro. Yes, the world seems like a dark place right now, but I'm going to go out fighting, but I'll probably not go out. Wait, what? Yeah, Texas is having a big spike in the plague, which means I'm probably going to stock up on groceries for like two months, because, I don't know, the bad guys are trying to convince the Republicans and the Democrats not to worry about the plague. It's really weird. Hello, Dolly. Furthermore, low-level trade wind convergence, the red arrows, on the southwestern flank of the Azores Bermuda High will create even more forcing from ascent over the western Caribbean later this weekend into next week, again favoring tropical cyclogenesis. And so I've had us on alert between the 17th and like the 23rd for a week now for Dolly. So we're going to stay on high alert. That's what we do. But if you need a Torcon to blow your skirt up, I got a three and a two for you, baby. In Memphis, Jackson, New Orleans, Pensacola, Montgomery, Birmingham, as temperatures heat up this afternoon, a few tornadoes may spin up from Crystal Ball in Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, and Arkansas. So stay alert. We're going to be tracking the storm for at least another five days, man. And yes, as Dada Boo, the Florida Wave Master, points out, the we are seeing signals as far out as 204 hours. Um, of something developing in the Gulf of Honduras. But where it will go exactly, no one knows. It's a roulette crapshoot. Yeah, this is eight days out. The King GFS, which nailed the um, crystal ball, has been giving us signs that we definitely have another low system coming out of the Gulf in about eight days. How weird is the weather? Well, we have crystal ball, which is slowly going up here which has created flash flood watches and warnings all the way up into Wisconsin and then into Canada as the storm strengthens over land. And then we got a lot of fire alerts and wildfires breaking out. Texas at 110 degrees somewhere up here today. And then you got like snow and ice um, up here. And in the southwest, it's very hot and dry. So... It's like a story of fire and ice, where the earth is a McDLT, where the hot side is hot, cold side is cold, and then they bounce around like a lava lamp. It's raining in Louisiana still, as Cristo Ball still got a heavy tail of rain. They've had quite a bit of rain in Louisiana from this. Severe weather is going to be a major factor almost all week, with this area undergoing the possibilities of heavy, severe weather, and then especially the orange area. In the Dakotas, is that Kansas? And then, whatever state this is. Man, the energy is really weird today. Okay, and then this is tomorrow. This is your severe, the yellow is where you might have severe weather. And then the day after that is where you might have severe weather. And so this 
as that one storm moves up, the like severe weather, it, it's it's a crazy situation. Um, yeah, dude. I, since I've been doing Thor news for seven point five years or more, um, this might be the craziest June weather I've ever seen, especially one weekend. And so we have our storm here going to meet this front, and then they're gonna super bomb out over Wisconsin and into Canada, the Canada. And um, so, and then it's gonna have some snow and ice factors to it. So, and heavy rain, heavy flooding. And 2020, it's something else. And people have been fighting like cats and dogs. If cats and dogs fought like professional wrestlers, I guess, all year, which isn't helping because we need unity and teamwork because we've just got problems stacking up like Legos. And so, like I said, this is a heavy band of rain. So, and then now it's, it'll be moving up. Um, shout out to, to Mike T in Kansas. If it heads your way. Thanks, Mike. You rule. And here's the storm tracks. Is the two storms combined. And then up the pack west going to get a bit. And then Canada going to get a bit of rain, heavy rain as well. And you're going to have to forgive me if I'm not doing my best job ever. Communicating and talking. The energy just seems wild today. But yeah, so, and Crystal Ball's got a pretty big tail in it. Back to Dolly. And I'm going to try not to make any boob jokes. I don't want to offend anybody. But boobs are like magic. Eric Webb, despite lackluster model support, the large-scale environment seems conducive for tropical cyclogenesis here. Diabetic outflow from Cristobal will help pinch off a PV streamer, that sounds gross, over a West Atlantic, creating a downstream upper-level ridge that ventilates the Caribbean. And so, we're getting a lot of warnings way ahead of time from Weather Twitter. Proud of you guys for doing that. Saying, yeah, we probably got another major storm coming out of the Caribbean soon. And then we got that thing over in the Atlantic that I'm not that worried about, but it does want to kind of come towards the USA, but it seems like a, a front pushes it out. So for now, I'm not that worried about it. Dolly is the thing we're watching somewhere between the 17th and the 23rd. Stephanie Abrams is pointing us to meanwhile in Montana, they got over 6.5 inches of snow on June 8th. That is fascinating. Hey, check out this mesmerizing detail from Nam as Cristobal continues to weaken along the Mississippi Valley before transitioning into a powerful extratropical cyclone over the Great Lakes. So yeah, you're getting an extratropical cyclone over the Great Lakes in June. And I have been obsessed with this storm since the very first GFS run of it 18 days ago. Because it, A... It showed it being like a hurricane or tropical strength going into the Gulf, which it did. And then B, it showed it strengthening over land, which is very odd. And then C, it showed it combining with the other low to form some like binary double low system that gets stronger over Canada. And then the models don't really know what to do with it. And so, you know, if you were ahead of this train uh, wave storm, Definitely keep an eye on it, all right? Mike T in Kansas, this would make it five millibars lower than it was when it made landfall. So it's a very weird storm, man. And so like the two lows are combined. But look at these isobars, which would be some pretty heavy winds for you guys. And so technically by crystal ball getting to like seven, wait, nine, 79 pressure, my prediction of a category two hurricane type pressure would come true, but there's no need going into semantics i think we all know do a great job <laughs> okay i love you mark Suddeth, check out the difference 24 hours can make our camera in mandyville louisville shows what appears to be a significant storm surge from lake punch train and so yeah dude that's quite a bit of storm surge some areas got up to seven feet last night we had a big fire break out in arizona phoenix um the cynic in me would guess that people are burning stuff for insurance money but maybe it's just uh, general lackadaisicalness. Who knows? 2020. Hey, guess what? The volcano chain in Mexico and Central America is still very active. Here we see an eruption from the Popocatépetl volcano in Mexico, which in my opinion has been by far the most active volcano on Earth since 2019. It's like every day, bro. Every day. 
Uh, yeah, the Arizona Fire definitely gives it like a Mordor vibe to 2020 as we deal with oil war and deception, trying to get to a better future together. Am I right? Happy birthday, Prince. You are amazing. Yeah, Crystal Ball has been very impressive, in my opinion. We can all have our own opinions, right? I'm so old, I can remember when Americans had more than two opinions. All right, we're looking at the major American map satellite thingy here. And if you'll notice, there are glitches. So, whenever that happens, we take the weird weather watch up a notch. But definitely, this thing is going to be doing damage and getting stronger as it continues north. And I don't want to start a big debate, but Wisconsin has the best cheese in the world. Um, one of the greatest experiences you'll ever have is eating cheese curds straight off the plant vat thing when they make them. Um, it's why, like, if I did ever have a woman, she's like, where do you want to go on vacation? I'd be like, let's go to the Wisconsin Dells and eat cheese curds. And she'd be like, I'm, I'm leaving you. And I'd be like, dang, why is my romance life so cursed? But cheese curds are delicious. And don't judge me, woman. We could have a fun time in the Wisconsin Dells. Um, we could ride the ducks, and then we could eat fudge, and they got tons of rides and parks and stuff. And they have this place called the House on the Rock, which is like a very magical Harry Potter type thing where, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Uh, volcano Watch, Earthquake Watch down by the Chile. You see the little dry spot right there. That's what we call an Earthquake Watch spot. I don't know, do I want to do a special side fundraiser to raise grocery money? Because, like, literally, I think the plague is going to explode in, like, two weeks. You know, they had like, the protest, and they've been trying to convince Republicans that it's a hoax or it's just a flu, and then now they're like, yeah, go protest, everybody. It's a, I think the numbers are going to be bad, and, you know, I don't, I, I don't want to say this, but it's the truth. I think lockdown is coming either at the end of this month or just anywhere between that and September. Man, we've really misplayed this whole year, absolutely. Okay, I'm staying positive because it's what I do. And someone on the Twitter is trying to tell me like 80% of the people have already gotten the virus and it's no big deal. But look, dude, there's like been no human being on the planet who's better called this thing better accurately, more consistently since January 30th than I have. So, and when I checked his timeline, the only thing he talked about was politics. So, man, being, you know, Worshipping politics doesn't make you an expert on every subject. All right. I try not to pay any attention to politics, but it gets harder and harder every day. Bad omen. Coming out of the Gulf. Have I repeated that enough? Dolly. She's coming. But we are Astro Fight Club. We are going to be prepared. But the Gulf needs to watch out because we are very early into what's going to be an active season. Last night I watched three Dave Chappelle, his newest specials. They were all amazing. I recommend everyone watching it, especially... Is it called the spin cycle or the spin zone or I don't know. It was good. It's amazing. And he talks about like three years ago, he talked about all the subjects that we were talking about today. And he made a joke. I didn't even know the CDC saw patients. And this was like three years ago. But yes, worlds and galaxies are converging here in the grand transition. I got to say, having the bad guys pit first responders and police against um, the public and the public against the police and first responders was a stroke of evil genius. Man, it's like they got you guys on a mental leash or something. Everybody, Republicans and Democrats. So yeah, the 12Z GFS has, you know, a pretty heavy one coming out of the Gulf. And the GFS had one, you know, that, that would miss, I mean, the Euro. And so, but the GFS nailed Cristobal, yo. So uh, we'll keep watching. That's what I do. But you were like, hey, but what I really want to see is crystal ball from space. And there you go. I try to make you happy. I try to keep you satisfied. I try to be a good Thor, you know? All right. It's beautiful. So, yeah, the first week of hurricane season, we get a tropical cyclone up into Wisconsin. It's a sign, bro. It's a sign. What are we holding on to, Sam? There's some good in the world, Mr. Frodo, and that is worth fighting for. I agree. If you want to solve all problems and all wars, and it is possible. Cristobal going deep over land and getting stronger. That's odd. How would you like six to eight inches in the boot, baby, in Montana? <sighs> See what I did there? Tropical depression. Inland flash flooding going on in Arkansas. Rain rates are high. Please turn around. Don't drown. 
Maybe stay away from roads around Little Rock to Pine Bluff, Arkansas right now. Very dangerous. Ooh, sun dogs. Check out this very strange history of Cristobal. Cristobal was originally named Amanda. So I guess it's a trans-national storm. Um, in the Pacific, Amanda made landfall in Central America and eventually entered the Atlantic. It was able to strengthen again into a tropical storm and renamed Cristobal, and then it made landfall in Mexico and made landfall again in Louisiana. So she, he gets around. She's going to town. A whole lot of people. We got a sunspot. Hopefully the sun is waking up and days will get better and times will get better and humor will return. Yes, yeah, severe weather, including large hail, isolated tornadoes will be a threat from Nebraska to the Dakotas in the storm that is not Cristobal before Cristobal hooks up with it and yes i'm still single and lonely with super high standards but i have not given up on romance yet because there's always someone that says like don't give up on romance i'm like okay sure fine whatever but we're watching it all man always do your best what you plant now you will harvest later man i've been planting good seeds for like 7.5 years technically my whole life See so yeah, when the sun acts weird, earth weather acts weird, and people act weird, and weirdness is all around and abound. You got Dakota Smith talking about the storms in the Dakotas, so it's like Dakota squared. Can you handle this much Dakota, Dakota? Uh, Bruce Willis has a daughter named Dakota. It's a lot of Dakota. And then the Indian monsoon is going to arrive, you know. But yeah, Crystal Ball is like a super record breaker on a lot of levels, man. And its path kind of keeps changing. One model run had to turn it back around and under. How would you like to see some awesome alien lenticulus alto cumulus lenticularis clouds with me not saying words properly? Woo! It was my close encounters is a fourth kind noise. We got a lot of rain down in the Yucatan. Man, hey, I've been in my foxhole for like over two years, and so I'm as ready to get out and have fun as anyone out there. But I'm really thinking that, like, I gotta hunker down for two more months again and leave as little as possible just because nobody's really taking the damn plague seriously, even though I've given excellent guidance almost all year on this thing. It's really quite frustrating and maddening. I know someone in Pennsylvania is, but what about me? I'm like, well, the next active weather for Pennsylvania. Come late Wednesday after an approaching cold front. Thunderstorms are likely over the northwest part of the state late Wednesday afternoon or evening. A few of the storms could contain damaging winds or large hail. And then here's another shot of that Tennessee fireball. Oh, technically, Tennessee didn't own it because it was seen in Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Maryland, Michigan, North Carolina, Ohio, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, Tennessee, Virginia, and West Virginia, and Ontario. I wonder if Dave Chappelle saw it or his wife because they're in Ohio. But yeah, dude, so like major weather of all types all around and then there'll be some prize, prize volcanoes and earthquakes and people doing crazy stuff. Alabama crushed its single day rain record of all time. Did I mention them single? Oh. And then we had a 4.9 earthquake in Nevada yesterday and then like a 4.5 in California. And did you know, and now I'm going to mindlessly jibber jabber for a couple minutes as the new model runs. Um, as you can see, it's not fully completed its run yet, but it'll give us a good idea of that is what we are watching. Which direction will it go? Nobody knows. It has conditions that say it could definitely advance into something serious, like a depression, tropical storm, possibly a hurricane. Right now, it seems to take it right over the Yucatan and pile drive it into Mexico. But let's keep our eyes on Crystal Ball when this thing resets. So your crystal ball goes up, connects with that front, strengthens into 981, and then, boom, goes out over Greenland into Canada and in, into Greenland. And it's pretty crazy, man. And so see that down here? That's probably going to be Dolly. Although this could over-surprise us and be Dolly. We don't know yet. And so that has it just kind of diving down into here. Trust me, I would be fine if we don't get another major storm anytime soon and then you got a this little 
thing over in Europe. Can you see it? No. Over here, then you get a little... Europe's getting hit with some waves. Then you get a little one that swings... Go down in mute talking. No, as good as like... Smoke if you got them. <laughs> okay. See that right there? Okay. And so, yeah, it's, it's just... Things are weird all over. So, everybody, please stay cool. Be cool. Um, please take the plague seriously. They're trying to trick everybody into getting it. I don't know if it's herd immunity. Like I said, my biggest fear is that, like, you know, I've always said I believe Democrats and Republicans are working together to distract everybody. And my biggest fear is that, like, there's some giant event, probably before or near the whole Saturn-Jupiter conjunction thing on December 21st, so that they aren't even planning on having an election. Okay, so that's, like, high-grade, top-shelf, Asteroid Fight Club stuff we can talk about later. Like I said, the weirder it gets, the weirder it's going to get. You know, I just pray that God takes care of us and watches over us and Archangel Michael and Jesus Christ. And, and uh, I have absolute faith that the good guys are going to win. I just hope and pray it happens during my lifetime. Because good people deserve it, man. I'm tired of the, the greedy, angry, shot and fruit crew ruining everything just so they can drive the stock markets up as high as possible. All right, and convert all of the negative energy into whatever weird sex magic. Okay, have a great day. I'll be you guys. Peace out, and I'll keep you on top of things as best I can. That's what I do. God bless everyone.